you. Thank you. Well, well, it's been quite a year, as you may have noticed. Uh, the Soviet Union's becoming more westernized. Now the Berlin Wall is actually being torn down. Seems like the world is changing for the better, and you know, we at Almost Live have done a little research, run a few projections, and discovered some other changes for the better on the global horizon. For example, we can foresee a day when Gaddafi admits that he's been a little irrational in the past and vows to switch to decaf. <laughs> The Crips and the Bloods decide to settle their differences on the volleyball court with the pro <laughs> proceeds going to clean up Lake Washington. The French decide to lose the attitude. <laughs> oh, big agreement there for France. KJR will play a song recorded after 1968. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yugoslavia changes its name to Honda Slavia. <laughs> Italian men start wearing normal underwear. <laughs> Chinese leaders in Beijing reaffirm their commitment to quality education, opting to give students choices for a better life, rather than simply killing them. <laughs> Georgia and Alabama admit they lost the Civil War and get on with their lives. <laughs> finally, finally, in an effort to look more hip, Canadians will stop saying, eh, after everything, and substitute the rap phrase, Yo, word up! Yeah. So, things are looking better. These are very exciting changes, but few things in life are as exciting as an encounter with a great white shark. And to demonstrate this, we've sent a few members of our audience to the Pacific Ocean, where I think, I think we have a camera ready. Are they there? There they are. Yeah. Oh, and there's the shark. A living killing machine, you know? has to eat to live. If it doesn't eat, it sinks and dies. They're having a great time there. Good sports. Oh, well, we seem to have lost the uh, feed there, but it looks like they're having fun. But hey, you know, when it comes to really having fun, nobody beats the high-fiving white guys.